Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. As part of EM Rapid, today we are discussing about one important topic, anaphylaxis and angioedema. Anaphylaxis is a life-threatening condition caused by systemic allergic reaction to some external agents. And patient develops uh, reactions like skin reactions, hypotension, shock. Shock is mainly due to vascular collapse. You know that whenever uh, there is injury to the endothelium, there will be vascular leak and intravascular volume will suddenly uh, reduce. Patient may develop vascular collapse due to volume loss from the intravascular compartment. Skin manifestation also can be there associated with this patient can have itching, arctic area. Angioedema may or uh, may not be there in anaphylaxis. Sometimes uh, you can get other GI features like nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea can be there in many patients. You can see now the causes for anaphylaxis. The most common cause for anaphylaxis is always drugs, whether it is beta-lactam antibiotics like penicillin, subtriaxone, NSAIDs, anesthesia agents, Food items like peanuts, shellfish, fish, egg, milk, soya, different types of proteins also can present with anaphylaxis. Insect stings like bee sting, wasp sting, all can produce uh, uh, various uh, presentations of uh, anaphylaxis and shock. Now, if we discuss uh, regarding the clinical features of uh, anaphylaxis patient can have arctic area lips swelling or angioedema can be there uh, conjunctival uh, suffusion or ingestion with redness flushing sweating breathlessness wheeze bronchoconstriction gastrointestinal and uterine muscle contracture and pain hypotension shock Laryngeal spasm is another important condition. Laryngeal spasm or laryngeal edema lead to strider and complete obstruction. There is a major problem in uh, anaphylaxis in emergency room. Patient develops severe laryngeal edema and laryngeal spasm that leads to obstruction of the larynx and patient can have a complete shutdown of uh, respiratory system. Patient can have severe uh, hypo, uh, uh, hypotension and hypo uh, uh, like uh, all features of uh, uh, routine things can come down like uh, patient will not have uh, oxygenation, good oxygenation, patient will not have good circulation. So shock and hypoxemia and hypoxic, sometimes patient can lead to hypoxic brain injury also. So these are the common causes for common clinical features of uh, anaphylaxis. Now any patient who develops uh, anaphylaxis we have to take care in emergency room we have to take care of the patient's airway breathing circulation so airway protection is very very important many patients may require intubation if the patient does not improve with supplemental oxygen then all patients uh, coming to emergency room who is having uh, anaphylaxis should have two iv lines because one iv line may not be enough in many of these conditions or so two large bore iv cannulation is mandatory in all the patients. Now, the treatment is mainly IV adrenaline, IV antihistamines, H1 and H2 blockers, and corticosteroids. We'll see each one by one. Injection adrenaline can be given as IM, 0.3 to 0 0.5 ml, one in thousand solution. It can be repeated also. So that is very, very important. Adrenaline is the drug of choice in anaphylaxis. It can be given as subcutaneous or IM. So patient should be kept in a uh, supine position. Trendelenburg position can be tried initially. If the patient does not improve, put IV line, start fluids. Then adrenal has to be given as soon as possible if the patient shows any features of anaphylaxis. Then if we are not, if you are not confident enough to give adrenal as uh, subcutaneous or IM, we should always try nebulization of adrenaline because it has got almost similar action of uh, uh, adrenaline but it is not that effective as an IM injection but 
uh, initially we can try adrenal nebulization also uh, it is not a, a, a indicated or con indicated uh, route of uh, adrenaline in anaphylactic shock but however uh, some clinicians try this because they are not uh, so confident about giving adrenaline I, im iv or subcutaneous so it can be tried also uh, but uh, the most important route is adrenaline im 0.3 to 0.5 ml uh, repeat after five minutes if the patient is having symptoms now adrenaline infusion can be given by a specialist in er uh, it can be uh, continuous infusion can be tried if the patient does not improve with their initial uh, dosage of uh, im or subcutaneous one in 10000 adrenal at 1 microgram per minute increase to 10 microgram per minute as needed that is a infusion protocol we will not be discussing the details of infusion protocol here because most of the patient uh, uh, require only one or two shots of im injections Now, anaphylaxis due to beta block is an, another important problem. Here, glucagon is the treatment of choice. 0.5 to 1 milligram IV, IM, subcutaneous can be given in glucagon, uh, uh, in uh, beta blocker induced uh, anaphylaxis or anaphylactic shock, or patient who develops uh, shock due to beta blocker overdose. So, glucagon also can be tried. But it is not a drug of choice in anaphylaxis. It is mainly given to the counter the actions of beta blocker. Now, another important differential diagnosis of anaphylaxis hereditary angioedema. Uh, we will discuss about acute treatment of angioedema here because that is a close differential diagnosis of anaphylaxis. It is a rapid edema beneath the skin or mucosa. It is normally seen on the uh, face. It is mainly in the lips, face, genital area, all these things. Loo wherever loose tissues are there, a patient can have a fluid accumulation there. Hereditary angioedema is C1 esterase inhibitor deficiency. Here, patient can have angioedema without urticaria. So that is very, very important. Angioedema is there, but there is no itching like anaphylaxis what we have seen. Patient can uh, have uh, like respiratory symptoms, gastrointestinal symptoms, and it can uh, last for one or two days. It's an autosomal dominant uh, disease. Hereditary angioedema is autosomal dominant uh, uh, dominant disease. But sometimes you can get angioedema uh, due to various other reasons also, like uh, anaphylaxis. We have discussed some, many of the drugs can produce angioedema. Here we are discussing about hereditary angioedema. C1 esterase inhibitor is a major anti-inflammatory protein in our body. Here in hereditary angioedema, you have hereditary or acquired low function levels of C1 inhibitor activity. In hereditary angioedema, it is hereditary, but acquired conditions also can produce C1 esterase inhibitor deficiency. You can see the clinical features of uh, hereditary angioedema. Attacks of angioedema commonly involves extremities, abdomen, genital entry tract, face, oropharynx, larynx. Family history of angioedema can be there in many patients. Complement C4 level is less than 50% of the normal. That is very, very important. It can occur spontaneously like hereditary in 25% of uh, cases, but uh, sometimes it can be acquired also. Normally, hereditary angioedema of any type will not respond to anti -HMNs. That is a major problem in hereditary angioedema. It closely mimics anaphylaxis. There also you get angioedema. But hereditary angio angioedema, normally we don't get hypotension and all, but other features can be there. Itching may not be there. But these patients will not respond to antihistamines or adrenaline all this. Anyway, in a patient who given patient, when they come to emergency room, we always have a differential diagnosis of anaphylaxis. Sometimes we may falsely give uh, adrenaline, adrenaline or uh, chlorpheniramine malate as, uh, uh, as initial treatment. But most of the patients or 
patients who is having hereditary angioedema will not respond to your treatment for anaphylaxis. That is very, very important. Now, differential diagnosis are uh, uh, like closed differential diagnosis are there, but uh, one of the important conditions we should remember in emergency room is AC inhibitors can produce angioedema. Many patients who after starting uh, uh, AC inhibitors for hypertension or heart disease, they come back with uh, angioedema. So here stopping of the drug is very, very important. They may not respond to your protein treatment for itching and allergy. Many lymphoproliferative disorders also can produce acquired uh, C1 esterase uh, deficiency or uh, action can be reduced. Now, there are different types of uh, uh, hereditary angioedema, type 1 associated with low complement C4 levels, low C1 inhibitor angiogenic levels, low C1 functional levels can be there. Type 2 associated with low complement C4 levels, normal C1 inhibitor antigenic levels uh, and low C1 functional levels. Type 3 very rare autosomal dominant condition with normal C1 inhibitor antigenic levels. Acquired angioedema, it can be mainly seen uh, angiotensin converting enzyme uh, induced angioedema. Now you can see the treatment, unlike what we have seen in uh, anaphylaxis, it is mainly uh, adrenaline and uh, H1, H2 blockers and steroids. Here it is totally different. Here it is uh, a different type of uh, treatment is C1 inhibitor. Plasma derived C1 inhibitor, C1 esterase inhibitor, concentrate from human plasma. Dose is 20 units per kg. Or recombinant C1 inhibitor uh, infusion, uh, 50 units per kg. Or bradykinin B2 receptor antagonist can be given. Or calicrine inhibitor can be given. But none of these drugs are available in our country. So we routinely give fresh frozen plasma. This is a uh, this is an indicated treatment in hereditary angioedema in acute conditions. Uh, since other drugs are not routinely available in many of the centers, we offer uh, FFP. Two units of FFP can be given initially. This dose can be repeated every two to four hours until there is clinical improvement. So that can be tried. So we have discussed about two important conditions that is anaphylaxis and angioedema. Anaphylaxis is the allergic reaction or severe type of allergic reaction with hypotension shock due to an external agent. Angioedema can be due to uh, an angioedema can be induced by an external agent like AC inhibitor or it can be a, a genetical problem. The treatment is entirely different. Treatment in anaphylaxis is uh, routinely uh, like you can give fluids, then adrenaline. H1, H2 blocker and steroids. None of these drugs are effective in uh, angioedema. Uh, they require uh, what is available in our countries, a fresh frozen plasma. That is the main treatment. Thank you.